Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with the fact that, or at least the allegation that the Russians are uh, abducting uh, Ukrainian children that they actually hate because they're their enemies, we're told. And then they uh, abduct them and they incorporate them in their nation somehow. Uh, they abdu uh, adopt them. Uh, so uh, the question is, why would you adopt something that you don't like, according to these guys, which is the Ukrainians? So they, you raise someone else's child, the child is going to grow, is going to realize you actually are part of the group that killed his group, and what is he going to do to you? Guess, guess what? He's going to realize, hey, I'm not Russian, I'm Ukrainian. How did I get in your position? Oh, your people killed my people and you raised me. Thank you very much. Now it's time for payback. Don't you think that would be the logic? Or you think they would say, oh, thank you very much. But why do you abduct me from my parents? To raise me and give me a better life? Please, that's idiotic, okay? So let's start with that one. So we know that the Russians, um, these guys tell us they do that. Probably they do whatever they do. We're going to find out in 20 years. The problem is, what if the Ukrainians do something similar? All right, let me show you something. We have here an article from Ukraine Forum. And I don't know if you remember, somehow, um, the Ukrainians are evacuating their people from their side. So they are advancing, supposedly in Zaporozhia, the Ukrainians tell us, but they evacuate their people. That means, why do you evacuate people if I advance here? Why do you evacuate the people behind me? Unless I'm not advancing, I'm retreating, and the other guys are advancing. So again, a lie. I mean, it, you can't have them both. I evacuate the people that remain behind me far away since I'm going forward. No, I'm evacuating them because I'm pushing back, I'm retreating. I mean, if you find a different logic, you tell me. We're not going to use, uh, what's his name? Churchill's uh, famous stupidity when he said uh, advance to the coast. Remember? Uh, he said advance to the coast in the Second World War. Don't retreat to the coast. Advance to the coast. I mean, if you want to use this kind of BS, then you can do that. So anyway, uh, let's look at this article and let me show you. Uh, let me show you what these guys say. Ukraine Forum, today is the 12th of September 2023. Family with child taken from Stepnohirsk as part of forced evacuation. So this family did not want to leave. They don't, they don't want, to, want to leave. Why? Remember, these guys are in behind your lines. So that means they don't want to leave because the other guys are advancing. You want to forcefully remove them. What if they don't want to? You have to. So then what's the difference? The state, the Ukrainian state, get this family forcefully. So then what do we do? You know, it's, it's just uh, doesn't make sense, no? I refuse to uh, dumb myself down because of these guys. So you want these guys that probably think they're going to be liberated by the Russians. Can they think that way? Are they allowed to? Maybe they think, well, thank God the Russians are coming. Maybe they are Russians. Maybe they know something about these guys' government that we don't know. Nevertheless, they don't want to. They don't want to leave. Right here, they don't. Want, it's forced evacuation. They don't want to leave, and they forcefully take them out. The state knows better what's good for you than you, and they take the child. You say protecting the child. What if the 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 father says no? Actually, I want to meet the Russians. Can they say that? No. So you see this kind of liberating. I made a video earlier today. It's uh, when I said something like Ukraine. Um, uh, delusional something. Um, I can't look over that. But hey, let me just go here. What was the title of that? I said uh, Ukrainian delusional off delusional offer. And uh, let me show it to you so you don't uh, think I'm BSing here. And if you care uh, about it or not, here it is. So this is the video I made. Ukrainian delusional uh, delusional offer, liberating quote unquote people who refuse to be liberated. Ukrainian troops leaflets. Okay, uh, Ukraine drops leaflets. So in this uh, video, I was making a claim that these guys are trying to tell the Ukrainians or the whatever they live in the occupied territories not to participate in the democratic elections over there. Maybe they want to. Watch that video for extra 
uh, information on that one. This one is like this. Forced evacuation of families with children continues in two districts of the Zaporozhia region. And I made a video on that one a while ago and I showed you where these guys are doing the evacuation. The exact location where they say they are advancing. This is where they say they are advancing. Maybe you are familiar with Robotinio, Robotinio or whatever, Robotinia. This right here, where the Ukrainians supposedly they advance, they advance like crazy. But the Ukrainians uh, conducted the mandatory uh, evacuation from this area right here, behind them. Behind, what does that tell you? They are expecting these guys to come over Red Rover. So don't bullshit me here. Okay, maybe they are advancing here, but then why do you, uh, oh, these areas, they evacuate right behind them. That means you're not advancing because they, they should be safe if you know, create more territory, a buffer zone between those guys that you're forci forcibly evacuating and the evil Russians. No, I mean, please, my friends, let's don't be dumb here. And it says where? The Zaporozhia region. That's Zaporozhia region I covered in another, another video. Go and check it out. And I'm quoting, we left for Zaporozhia in May and lived there for three months. Then we returned, returned to Stepnohirsk. I thought I would be at least put something in, strain, in storage for the winter. At the time, it seems to me that blah, 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 whatever. So my, my friends, you can read the article if you want. Uh, my point is this. Some people don't want to be evacuated. They're saying the same thing they had with Kupiansk area. Let me show you that one. In Kupiansk, let me go and uh, go over this. In Kupiansk, which is right... Uh, yeah, okay, right there, huh? Right here is Kupiansk, in this area. Here, again, the Ukrainians conducted a mandatory evacuation and people did not want to leave from here again. Some people... And they were angry about it. I wonder why. Maybe they're waiting for the Russians to come and liberate them. I'm just, you know, what else could be? I understand they don't want to leave their place and so on. But I tell you something. If you're not familiar with the Second World War, when the Soviets move west on their way to Berlin, the Romanians were hiding and running the population because the, they would say the Russians were coming. The Soviets were coming because they engaged in rape and, and killings and all that. So they were bad. Now, these guys are not running from that. Why is that? Why is that? I don't have to talk about the rapings and all that that occurred in Germany by the mighty Soviet army, instigated by some, um, how do you call them? Not collaborators, uh, commissars. You still have it. You can find it online. And the exact leaflets, they were distributed. And I'm not kidding, but go and see it. Anyway, my friends, here it is. It seems like strange, uh, to say the least, that these guys don't want to leave from the coming Russians. Or if the Russians are not coming, why do you take me out? Why do you, how do you fucking call that word, man? I already have a problem with that. Not liberate, what the fuck is that name? Man? Forced evacuation, why do you evacuate me? Sometimes there's few words, Probably you have them too, like five in my life. And I can't, can't remember them. I need time and they're easy, like mommy and daddy. What, what's that called? Uh, and I try to make all kind of logical connections and cognitive, blah, blah, blah. Pula, man. Pula. Nothing. You can't. You can't. You just, oh, shit. Uh, like right now. What was, again, evacuation. I can't remember that. I know exactly what I want to say. I know exactly what I mean. The word evacuation doesn't come in my dead brain. <laughs> That's the way it is, my friends. So here it is, my friends. Uh, they don't want to be evacuated and they take the children. But the other guys, when they do it, and I explained to you how idiotic that sounds to take the children and to incorporate them in a society where they will hate you later. Those guys will get in position of power, don't you think? Those Ukrainian children that were abducted. They will, get in, they will get involved if they're not going to find out in time that they're Ukrainians taken with, by force by these guys' uh, ancestors, blah, 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 blah. What do you think? They're going to get in power someday. They will be getting in the military. They will be getting in the security forces. They will be medics. They will be all kind of, you know, in the media. And when they find out, what do you think they will do? What do you think they will do? What would you do? I know exactly what you would you do. You say, what? These guys took me from my parents? Hmm. Anyway. 
Thank you very much. For, can't you see here in America, these guys want reparations here for things that occurred, what, five generations, or six, seven generations ago? For things that they were not a victim of. Those are. So the things these guys are, that were victim, victim, taken away, right? Snatched from their parents. What do you think these guys are going to do? Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.